Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for Melville Hyundai here on Leech Highway. We hope you enjoy our tour, let's begin. Starting off with the front on view while I list off the car's key features. Packed inside we have none other than ABS brakes, power steering, power windows, central locking, Bluetooth and USB connectivity, alloy wheels, fingers crossed we can cover all of the remaining features, there's quite a bit to go through so we hope you enjoy. First up, presentation. Guys, the detailing team here at the yard do a brilliant job. There's still a few things that need to be brought up to speed, but upon purchase, they're gonna have this thing looking like a 2021 vehicle as best they can. Time now for us to jump into some features, and the first piece of um, uh, that I wanna draw your attention to in the top, in the center of your windscreen is a camera, and that comprises three pretty interesting safety features. The first, collision mitigation. The camera is always on the lookout for the chance that you may collide with an obstacle. If it does sense that that may occur, it will raise an alarm for you to be able to switch on, apply the brakes, and avoid any potential impact. Secondly, it comprises lane departure assistant. Uh, it's reading the white lines on the road that create the lane within which you drive. Um, and if it senses you're veering outside the lane, the technology will pull you back into the center. It's pretty crazy. Lastly, it makes up a part of your uh, cruise control settings it's called adaptive cruise control and it maintains the distance between the front of your vehicle and the back of someone else's if they slow down so will you if they speed up so will you just maintain that distance okay guys double check whether there's rain sensing windscreen wipers installed we're very confident but we can't be sure so follow up with your car salesperson and then from the front all the basics, chrome finish, front parking sensors, your headlights, there's a lot of features in here. Depending on what website you're watching this on, click on the lights and windows drop down menu to see a full list of features, but I can tell you, automatic headlights, they just know when to turn on, and headlamp washers, these pieces will come forward, spray up and clean off your headlights. Okay, that'll do for the front, let's head now down the left hand side, and you probably can notice just here in the corner, just um, some blemishes and bumps the car has copped at some point in time, all right, so be mindful of that. And here is your, ooh, 18 inch alloy rims, I'm going to guess that, looking absolutely fantastic, notice the plastic guard, the wraps not only around the perimeter of the wheel but around the perimeter of the entirety of the vehicle. Moving up to your side mirrors, matching paint job, uh, side indicator lights, they come with the blind spot monitor. So if you want to change lanes and it's not safe to do so because there's a car in your blind spot, this will alert you to the fact so you can become aware, reposition and change lanes at a safer point in time. Electronically adjustable guys, they're going to fold in as well. Let's continue along. Chrome finishes on our door handles, keyless entry, this button here. As long as the fob of the vehicle is within range, press that button to lock and unlock your car. Vertically running roof racks. Um, probably no tints along the front here, definitely tints along the back. Privacy glass, more security, less sunlight. Let's continue down. Uh, sussing out our back left hand alloy wheel. Looking divine. Notice here guys, you're one of your six parking sensors along the back here, okay? The other four straight along, um, yes, the main part here. Okay, cool, wrap around brake lights brings us to the back. Spoiler, snail eye antenna. Uh, your back windscreen wiper, chrome finishes about the place. Your reverse camera is here. And before we jump inside, warranty, guys, get the warranty. Give yourself that peace of mind and spare yourself any potential headaches. Okay, now I pinch this and it automatically lifts for me. And here we have the interior, your boot space, okay? You have a rubber liner protecting the carpet flooring here. Uh, if you didn't, if you weren't aware, seven seater vehicle seat belts there ready to go and you simply just would take out your liner and lift up your seat six and seven using your handles uh, let's see what we've got underneath in here this storage space just the toolkit to be able to change the spare tire speaking of the spare tire is strapped beneath the vehicle I'm literally touching it right there okay cool flap that back down and that's pretty much it guys you do have uh, a cargo tie down net as well however so strap the corners into the corners here and tie down any loose cargo. Drink holders for passenger six and seven and their own air conditioning unit as well, separate from the back and the front. Okay, press this button and this automatically comes down. By the time it's closed, I'm already at the front door of my house. Okay, down the right hand side we go. Let's zoom in on our back right hand tire before we jump on in and show off your leather interior, power windows, heated seats, and check this out guys, a shade. Awesome, just clip that into place and then clip it out of place to bring it back down. 
All right, inside a complete leather interior, uh, armrest, drink holders, storage on the back of the driver and passenger seats, carpet interior along the feet, and yeah, cool. Let's go through the front. Don't forget about your leather interior, all power windows, side mirror adjustments, and your car seat presets here. Speaking of the presets, it's all electronically adjustable, all right? So find the position best for you, lock it into the preset that I mentioned before. If anyone comes and changes things around, you just press that button, go straight back into position. All right, to the right-hand side here, you've got uh, what, illumination, hill assist, diff lock, traction control, blind spot monitor on and off, different drive modes you can filter through, uh, and your lane departure assistant, keep you in the center of the lane. All right, leather-bound steering wheel, airbag right in the center, cruise control settings to the right-hand side, don't forget about your adaptive cruise control. Uh, menu settings here to the left hand side, you've got phone controls down there, volume controls, station controls along the top. Uh, the steering wheel column itself is adjustable, you can bring that up and down, back and forth. Alrighty, carpet, dashboard mat along the top, sound system speaker in the centre here. Your multimedia display has its own maps system, separate from hooking up a phone, there you go, maps right there. Um, hook your phone up into this anyway and access all the compatible apps, music, streaming services, podcasts, audiobooks, you name it. Okay, that's your multimedia controls. Here is your uh, air conditioning controls. The main thing to point out here is that the temperature can be different for driver and passenger. To the right hand side is your push start engine. All right, no more key turning it about. Now you just press a button and your car will turn on. Dropping down, two 12 volt power supplies in the center here, a USB and an AUX input, storage, leather gear stick, heated and cooled seats in the front as well, as well as the back, parking assistant, that's to turn your sensors on and off. Oh, you've got um, uh, the, par the, actu the actual parking assistant where it takes control over your wheel and will literally take you in and out of uh, tight parking spaces, all right? That's pretty awesome. What have we got here? An electronic park brake, two drink holders, leather finish on top of your center console. Lift this up and you've got this immediate storage. Lift it out and you've got some a lot of storage down there. Okay, moving over now to your glove box. Inside we have an official Hyundai wallet. Inside the official Hyundai wallet is the official service history, which we'll go through in a second. I will quickly point out you do have your Harry Potter size Santa Fe owner's manual. Okay, let's go through some of the service history. Here we go. First service on the 19th of January in 2018 at, oh, I think that's actually the second service. The first one is, here we go, 2016 and 2017, 1500 Ks, 15,000 Ks. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five services, six services. The last one was the sixth, and that was 13th of uh, November, 2020. Alrighty. Thanks for your patience as I whack this back inside, close that off, and let's continue. Airbag right in front of me, airbag behind me at the head, grab handle, sun visor, mirror, light. Uh, electric anti-glare rear view mirror, so that'll just automatically diminish the bright reflection of headlights in your mirror. You've also got a compass inside your uh, rear view mirror too. Okay, roof storage here, whack a pair of sunnies up there, light controls, and last but not least, the best thing to happen to cars since they put brakes on them, the sunroof, my friends. The sunroof, you know, you know how it works, press these buttons to bring the shade back, pull it back, lift up your sunroof, pull it back down. Awesome, that'll do us, eh? Don't forget about your leather seats, heated seats, cooled seats, carpet floor mats, door pockets, a little bit of storage. Let's finish off the tour of the right-hand side by zooming in on our top right-hand wheel. I'm going to go ahead and prepare your hood here, your bonnet. And there's not too much I need to do because the pistons to the left and right-hand side do the lifting and the holding for me. Soundproofing board along the top. Allow me to step back. Now, notice just how clean this is, my friends. Even our detailing team get beneath the hood and clean that off for you. Now, if you're a rev head, hopefully you see all the components, all the bits and pieces that are supposed to be there. And if you're not a rev head like me, take my word for it, guys. I wouldn't be doing this job if this car yard didn't have its head screwed on, and it absolutely does. 
Great. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed and we hope you've got a great idea of what the car could mean for you. Now, three things as we finish up. Number one, don't forget about our same day finance approval. Number two, please consider getting the warranty. Give yourself that peace of mind. Lastly, if you think this might be for you, book in a test drive, take it down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel afterwards. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We look forward to hearing from you soon.